hello friends i am satyendra and today i am going to solve a very interesting problem which is from the chapters of quantum mechanics this question was asked in csir net june 2016 okay so let's read the question the state of the particle in one dimensional rigid box is in the interval 0 to l is given by the normalized wave function so the wave function is given here okay if its energy is measured okay if we measure the energy of this state of the particle or if we measure the energy of the particle in this state okay the possible outcomes okay so the possible outcomes of the energy and the average energy are so the there are two possible outcomes the first is this and the second is this and the average energy is this so let's see that how to bring the answer and how to solve this type of question this type of questions are usually asked in csir net physics and gate physics exams okay so let's read it okay so <clears throat> it is well known that for one dimensional box okay the of length l the state of particle is described by this wave function okay so you can see the potential box here the length is from 0 to l inside the box the potential is taken to be zero or it can be taken constant okay and at the boundary okay the potential is infinite so the particle is free inside the box but it cannot go outside because it requires infinite amount of energy and the particle does not have that amount of, that much amount of energy so it will remain trapped inside the box okay so it can move freely within the box so the wave function of the particle inside the box can be described with the help of this wave function okay so it is the well known equation and uh, wave function and equation and you should always remember this equation okay for one dimensional box okay okay here you can see as you can see that this wave function is the function of x okay and n is the state that means ground state first excited state so if n equals to uh, 1 that will correspond to the ground state n equals to 2 will correspond to the first excited state okay so this is how okay here <coughs> pi is the pi that is uh 3.141 okay uh, okay so you all know about this okay okay and the energy of the particle in the nth state okay energy of the nth state okay of the particle in the nth state okay uh, that okay at this point it is important for you to know that you can uh, you can uh, you can uh, symbolize you can write this in the form of uh, cat notation like this okay okay so i have written this uh, this wave function in the form of this cat notation okay so the energy of the particle in this in this in this state okay in the state n is given by this okay so you also have to remember this formula of energy okay okay now now equation 1 <laughs> okay you have to now see the equation one so i have a given equation one here okay so this is your equation number one so this is the equation one okay so this equation now can be written in different form okay with the help of uh, with the help of this equation okay with the help of this equation that equation number one can be written like this okay so i have written the equation number one here okay and then i have rearranged that equation like this okay and now it is clear that this part is equals to the phi 2 okay okay <clears throat> how you can see this here okay so if here in this equation okay give me some time okay okay so if you look at uh, if so if you look at this equation if you put n equals to 2 okay if you put n equals to 2 then you will get this quantity okay so that's why this is now denoted by phi 2 okay and if in that equation same if again in that equation if you use n equals to 4 okay then you will get this much term okay that's why it is called phi 4 phi 2 can also be written in the cat notation like this and the phi 4 can also be written in the cat notation like this okay and now this constant 
can be written as c2 and this constant can be written like c4 the reason why i have taken c2 is the this there is two therefore i have taken two okay and here it is four that's why i have taken here four okay okay so <clears throat> now let's proceed further okay <clears throat> so finally that equation can be written our previous equation can be written in this way okay so you can see that okay this is how i have written that equation okay now since uh, we are to find the average energy okay so the important formula for average energy is here okay so you need to remember this formula of average energy okay this is the formula of average energy c are those coefficients that you have uh, previously seen okay so, and energy is calculated with the help of formula that i have already explained you okay so here as you can see that c1 was not there so it can be taken to be zero c2 was there okay c3 was not there so it is taken to be zero and c4 was there okay which has this value okay now as you have seen that with the help of the formula of energy that, that i have already explained you previously if you put n equals to 2 that you get then you get this much energy and if you use n equals to 4 then you get this much amount of energy okay so now let's put back these uh, all these values in this equation okay on putting the values this uh, that equation becomes like this okay uh, and now let's plug the values on plugging the values i arrive at this point the reason is that that this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero so this term and this term will not exist okay uh, only this and this term and this uh, and this term and uh, oh, uh, i'm sorry i'm extremely sorry okay so so sorry so let me explain you again so this term as you have seen that uh, c1 is zero so this term will not exist and also you have seen that c3 is zero so the, also this term will not exist so this term and this term will only survive okay so i have written this here okay okay now i am going to plug the values okay so before plugging the values i want to tell you that this is equal to this much and this is equal to this much where the star represents the complex conjugate okay okay now i am going to plug the values i have plugged the values properly as you can see that here okay the values are being plugged and you can see that the complex conjugate of the real quantity is uh, does not change it means uh, the complex conjugate of the real quantity 4 is 4 only okay so that's why you are looking at these numbers okay okay so uh, finally you can uh, further simplify this uh, equation okay and you will then arrive at this equation okay and then you can simplify it further and then you will arrive at this equation where i have used h naught equals to h over 2 pi so this is the uh, average energy that i want you to calculate okay so as you can see in the question okay let's go back to the near to the question so this was the answer okay so this is the average energy that we have just now calculated okay so this is the average energy and now let's uh, calculate um, this energy also okay these two possible outcomes okay so <clears throat> So as already I explained to you that we in, in between we have uh, calculated uh, this energy E2 and E4. So these are the two possible outcomes of the energy. Okay. Okay. So uh, we can further simplify this. Okay. Okay. Let's simplify it. Okay. So I here I have simplified it. Okay. So I have rewritten the, that equation here. And here I have substituted the value of H0 which is equal to H over 2 pi. Okay. So on substituting this value and further simplifying this square. I arrive at this equation and similarly I can simplify this E4 okay and this I will arrive at this point so finally you can see that these two are the two possible outcomes of the energy okay so finally you can go and check your answer okay so this was your answer you can directly compare it with the answers that our calculations are correct okay okay thanks for watching this video thank you very much okay thank you